The Greek astronomer Eratosthenes, at the time director of the Great Library of Alexandria in Egypt, proposed a purely geometrical method to measure the length of the circumference of the Earth. He started by using the observation of shadows made at two different places, Alexandria and Syene, at the time of the summer solstice and at noon local solar time. The distance of 800 kilometers between the two cities was estimated in relation to the time taken by a caravan of camels to connect them. In Syene, the sun is at the vertical, so much so that its rays reach the bottom of a well. In Alexandria, on the other hand, the sun is no longer at the vertical, and the objects have a very shallow offset shadow. Eratosthenes set about measuring the shadow of an obelisk whose height he knew, and used this information to deduce the angle of the sun's rays from the vertical. He found 7.2 degrees. The Earth is not flat, but has a curved, and perhaps even a round surface. Only, the same results can be obtained with sun rays which are all parallel. This implies that the sun is sufficiently far away, very, very far away. By extending the vertical in Alexandria, the obelisk, and the vertical in Syene, the well, these two verticals should by definition meet at the center of the Earth. Since the sun's rays are indeed parallel, the angle formed by the two verticals at the center of the Earth must therefore be identical to the angle he measured with the shadow of the obelisk, 7.2 degrees. The proportion of this angle of 7, 2 degree in relation to the 360 degrees of a circle is the same as the proportion of the distance of 800 kilometers separating the two cities relative to the circumference of a circle. The rest you can guess, 360 degrees divided by 7.2 degrees gives 50, and 800 kilometers multiplied by 50 indeed gives 40,000 kilometers. This is how Eratosthenes calculated the circumference of the Earth. This video was edited for Eratosthenes' 2024 project on a twinning European platform.